This is kind of surreal. Nine months ago, I went out to pick up my first livestock and now I'm going out to sell my first livestock. So we are about 10 hours out from the launch of my very first livestock sale. I've launched a lot of products in my life, but I've never launched any with four legs and a beating heart. So I think we're about to make history. at Harmony Farms here coming at you today with a total recap on my first livestock sale. There are some things I'm gonna change but overall I was so incredibly thankful for how my first livestock sale went and I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I sold and some of the strategies that went into it. First and foremost how did I sell my lambs? Well I have two different ways that I can market and sell my Dorper sheep, two different products that they can end up as. And one is livestock, feeder animals for other small farms to finish the process of growing a lamb and process it themselves, or breeding stock. Ranchers can come in and buy rams or use from me to build up their flocks, whether existing or new. And then I have dead stock, I guess it would be which is a meat product. I can sell my Dorper lamb as a gourmet, grass-finished lamb product. I get a lot of questions, this is a side note, as to how Dorper meat tastes. Guys, I've never tasted a meat like it. It is absolutely incredible. They basically produce the most tender and delicate meat you will ever have. But, back on track. This year I sold my livestock at shepherdessdorpers.com, which is a website that I custom built for my Dorper sheep sales. I did not do an auction, I did a fixed price listing. Now while I did pay a little bit of attention to market values, I also did price my products based on what they are, which is a highly niche grass-based livestock and my customers were coming to me understanding what went into raising these animals. Whether I'm successful or not, it is my desire to set a bit of a bar with respect to grass-based livestock sales. As a first-timer coming in, I was looking for basically what I'm selling now. I was looking for livestock from operations that managed on forage so that I could take not only the economic advantage of that kind of a system into my system, but that I could also take the health of that animal into my system. So I sold not as an auction basis, but as a fixed priced animal. And I moved these both on my website as well as through local channels. Not 100% of my sales came through my website. I have a series of local channels that I also use to move and market my sheep. And while into the future I believe I can get to that 100% mark through shepherdessdorpers.com, that's gonna come with building a customer base. But I am extremely optimistic with the volume that I was able to move through my direct website this year. And I anticipate it will be even more next year. So how I did it and how I will change it I sold my lambs once they were weaned, but I didn't really begin the sales process until about four weeks after they were weaned. I was managing weaned lambs in a separate group because the rams were at that point mature and able to breed. So I was running those groups on pasture all while coordinating the building of this platform, marketing these animals, sales, 
logistics, shipping, and all of that. And in my job, if you guys know, I am a digital marketer by trade, and it's digital marketing for physical products. And the way that that works is products come into a warehouse, they sit nice and tidy on a shelf while I market them, and then shipping partners will ship those products straight to the customer. Well, in my livestock sales, I had two maintenance four-legged animals with a beating heart while I waited for those sales to happen. So how am I going to change this into the future to make this easier on myself and to make it honestly more of a sustainable solution to sell livestock straight off of my farm? Thankfully, it's a very easy fix. And here's how I'm going to do it, Lord willing, for 2022. I am going to start selling the lambs once they start dropping in March. I'm taking pre-orders. And once they're weaned, March, April, at the end of May, I'm probably going to have one big, happy pickup day. And what this means is that I can spend time marketing and promoting what I have for sale while the lamb's moms are essentially taking care of them. And then once their moms are done taking care of them, I can ship them to their new owners. And that is going to be a much, much better solution. One in which I may be able to get a little more sleep. Yeah, do a little bit better on that front. But overall, so incredibly grateful because like I said, it's something that can be done not with 10, but really with 10,000. There's no limit with respect to the volume that can be handled through an internet-based sales system like this. The sales portion of it didn't take a whole, whole lot. It was the logistics that need to be refined. So guys, subscribe to my newsletter follow my blog and as always I look forward to seeing you in the next videos until then keep on farming on <laughs>